said the moon was ours. Yeah. He said the moon was ours. When we first met, every single winery was a family business. But now, all those family businesses are sold to big corporations. And we're one of the last that's family owned and operated. Matter of fact, we grow the grapes, we make the wine, we sell the wine. When you're backing your car up in the winery, be careful, you may run over a business. But it's something that we, we hold a real pride to because being a family business, you work in the business. Um, there's this great saying, the best impression that a winemaker can leave on his wines is his footprints in the vineyard. And that's what we are. We live in our vineyards. And we make that extra effort to do the right things in our vineyards. Uh, back in the year 80s, we farmed like everybody else. We were very much conventional farmers. We used a lot of chemicals. I call it the spray and pray days. Um, and I remember this beautiful piece of property that we had. Um, I used to go out there and hunt for rabbits, and we had beautiful, healthy vineyards that we slowly choked off with chemical pesticides, fertilizers, mildicides, fungicides, all this stuff. We got phylloxera, we got nematodes, we had erosion issues, and worst of all, the wine quality was deteriorating, it was going down. We knew we needed to make some big changes. So in 1994, we decided we had had enough. And my brother had been uh, reading about biodynamics at the time and met this individual by the name of Alan York, who was the, we call him the guru of biodynamics. The two got together, we all had a family meeting, we said, we need to do this. And from 1994 to 2000, we went on a six-year cleanse of our properties. It was very tough. We almost failed. But in 2000, we were the first winery ever to be certified biodynamic in the Sonoma Napa area. America's first biodynamic winery, if you will. Um, and we started there. In 2000, we had our first release of tribute, first biodynamic wine. And you watch this property transform itself from basically a green desert, a monoculture of just grapes, into this beautiful, verdant winery that's a combination of grapes, of olive trees, of gardens, of wetlands, riparian areas, woodlands. Um, now, instead of just grapes, like I said, I have 800 trees of olive oil. I have 800 olive trees. I make over 100 gallons of olive oil. I have chickens. I have over 200 sheep that I use for grazing. Um, cows that I use for their manure, um, for their composting ability. Um, I have seven acres of vegetables that I sell to local restaurants. Um, all sorts of uh, areas. And it it kind of goes back to maybe 200 years ago when they farmed where farm was not just a monoculture of one item, but it was a, a mosaic of different things. And that's what we're trying to get back to. And the tenets that we follow are biodiversity, a closed system, and following the natural rhythms of nature. And by doing that, our grapevines naturally integrate with the environment, and they pick up the true terroir of where they are. At the end of the day, if you'll allow me to have a prop here, what I want is to have four fingerprints on a bottle of wine. First of all, the fingerprint of the varietal. I want it to taste like a great Sauvignon Blanc. Second, I want it to taste from the 07, 010 vintage. I want this to be a mini time capsule of the wet spring, the hot summer, and the cool fall. All are imparted on this bottle of wine. I want to let that shine. Then I want to have the fingerprint of the terroir. I want it to taste where it comes from, the slopes of Sonoma Mountain. And then lastly, the fingerprint of passion from the winemakers. And that's why I grow the way I do, is because it allows me to bring those four fingerprints of the vintage, of the varietal, of the vineyard, and the passion of the winemakers to the forefront. But we're under a lot of pressure from some big corporations, and being a family business is rather difficult. Um, but we're going to stick to our guns what we do best, and that's kind of giving the personality to the wine. Um, over delivering on the quality that you get in the bottle and keeping that green message going. And what I ask you and, and the folks out there is to, when you have a wine to pick, please pick up a bottle of Benzo and try it. I guarantee you, you'll be impressed with the quality that's in the bottle, the story of how it's made, and the passion of the, wine, of the family behind making it, uh, making those wines. Um, we're one of the last true family operations out there in Sonoma. We grow, we try to use only the most natural methods in our farming and, and winemaking abilities and the bottle of Benzema really over delivers the price the price that you pay for it you'll go wow this truly is a great bottle of wine so please pick up a bottle of Benzema or as we say put a Benzema on your table thank you